I have been playing Dark Souls 2 since its PC release back in 2014. It was a game that was essentially tailored with its multiplayer component in mind. It was quite an experience to be a part of perhaps not huge, but still very active community. You could find multiplayer activity pretty much everywhere. This game felt very alive with all these red signs filling the bridge in Ion Keep. Sadly, passing time and one particular bad decision on From Software Sites later took its toll and a game that was once so lively became empty and will remain like that for the rest of its time. Acolyte is basically Jesus Christ reincarnation. This mod is a powerful tool that was so incredibly needed and at last we have it. Anti-cheat, save backup, connection blocking system if you block someone on Steam, accurate ping measurements and on top of that invasion system overhaul where using blue and red cracked eye orbs searches the whole game for potential invasions. It is indeed beautiful, as this change only on its own revives the game to the point I can successfully find people to invade as Blue Sentinel. If you never tried to max this covenant out, you won't know such a big of a relief it actually is. Installation of this mod is so banal, as everything you have to do is to download the mod, then go to Steam, right click on Dark Souls 2 Scholar of the First Sin, Properties, Local Files and Browse. File Explorer window is about to open. Now go to the game folder and drop the content of the mod in there. One of the files is called blueacolyteprev.ini, which is a configuration file where you can rearrange some stuff as you please. I will not go into the details as everything is rather well documented inside the file, but makes long story short, you can change bytes of the hotkeys that mod is using, change the notification sounds or completely disable them, swap the fonts, enable or disable global blacklist of known cheaters, or even choose which locations should be looked through for potential invasions, which is another great thing as layout of DLC locations for invaders are ultra cancerous. Now a few words about default hotkeys. F1 toggles banner, F2 toggles player list, F3 enables console, F4 toggles vex dust implementation. That's a thing that allows you to invade the whole game from one location. You can also turn this option on by default in the config file. Vex dust is enabled if you can see the red eye icon in the corner. If mod is going to mark a player as malicious, you can use the numpad key from 1 to 5 to kick out a particular player from your session. Kicking players from the session is going to prevent them from joining you again until you close the game. If you want to block them for good, find their Steam profile and block them there. If you got bullied by a hacker, you can always back up your file, as the mod automatically backs up your save before every new online session. You simply remove your previous save file, then delete the first and last segment of the file, that is numbers with the underscore and .bak from the end. Backed up saves can be found in the same location where your main save is. Well, I think that's about it. Please enjoy the fantastic experience of Super Active Dark Souls 2. Luke, you're a hero that we didn't know we needed. Thank you.